Hey folks, it's Nate. Thanks for joining me at the art table again today. So, Jerry Seinfeld. Well-known comedian and, of course, the star of one of the most famous and well-respected sitcoms of the 90s, Seinfeld. Clearly, he is a man that knows a lot about the art of comedy. In a recent interview, he revisited some comments he made about the influence of woke, or if you prefer, progressive thought, on the comedy space. The long and the short of it was that he assessed it had been a negative. Thoughts which he has now recanted. Now, if you want to hear Jerry's full thoughts, I've linked the interview where he discusses this down below. For our purposes, what I want to talk about is his analogy, where he assesses being a comedian kind of like being an Olympic skier. No matter how difficult the course a skier has to ski is, an Olympic skier, Jerry says, can hit all of the gates and complete the course. I don't know if this is the best analogy for what I believe Seinfeld is trying to get at here, but I do think it is an interesting concept. Many people, when they talk about any kind of creative work, whether it's comedy or comics or movies or novels, they think that restrictions are a bad thing for creativity. And this is actually 100% wrong. A person I often reference when having these discussions is Mark Rosewater, who is the head designer of Magic the Gathering, a somewhat successful card game you may have heard of. But Mark is not just a game designer. He actually got his start in creative writing. Specifically, he was a scriptwriter for Roseanne, which is also a sitcom from the 90s. Not as successful as Seinfeld, but still reasonably successful. So Mark has experience in a wide variety of creative fields, one of which is comedy. And he often says, restrictions breed creativity. In other words, the fewer tools you have to work with, the more creative you have to be with those tools in order to get your point across. This is by no means a new idea, nor is it one unfamiliar to the modern day audience. Anyone who has watched a Twitch streamer stream any kind of video games has probably heard of a challenge run where you add some kind of restriction on what you can do in a video game in order to make the game harder and prove that you have more skill with the game. I believe that Jerry Seinfeld's skiing analogy is essentially a metaphor for comedy under progressive values as a kind of challenge run. It is not up to the audience to sit down and be ready for whatever you throw at them. It is up to the comedian to demonstrate their skill as a comedian to tell jokes that will get laughs from even the hardest audience. In short, for Jerry, as an Olympic level comedian, the woke audience is not an inhibition to his comedic talents, but rather a challenge to them, an opportunity for Jerry Seinfeld to show his mettle as a comedian, to get laughs out of audiences that don't want to laugh at his jokes. The comedian who can get a woke audience to laugh is the alpha comedian. At least that's the logic, right? And I don't think that's a terrible mindset to have, especially if you are already a professional comedian who has faith in your craft. Now, there are a lot of pitfalls to this mindset, but it also has one very important strength to it, one that I haven't heard anyone talking about yet. Nobody likes a whiner. Jerry Seinfeld is widely considered one of the best comedians of our day. Nobody wants to hear him come out and whine about why he can't get laughs anymore. He's not here to lecture college campuses on how they gotta do better. He's here to make people laugh. That's his job. He's a comedian. No one wants to hear from your plumber why they can't unclog your toilet. They just want the plumber to unclog the toilet. Maybe they need to sit down with city water and have a talk about coding or zoning or something like that, whatever it is plumbers do, and address the root causes that are causing all these clogged toilets. But their customers really don't care about that kind of thing very often. It is far better for Jerry Seinfeld and for comedy as a whole for him to focus his attentions, at least in public, on making comedy the best it can be. And the way he can do that is by getting laughs from even the hardest audiences not by whining to interviewers about how some audiences are really tough. 
I've heard some people describe this as cowardice, that Jerry Seinfeld is afraid of some sort of backlash, that comedians should be anti-establishment and pushing against boundaries. None of this is true. Whining about your audience in front of your audience is always a terrible way to be an entertainer. I'm sorry, it just is. I have done over 20 productions in live theater. I've had cell phones go off in the middle of performances. I've had babies burst out crying in the middle of performances. It's not good for the performance. It's not good for the audience. It's not good for the performers. But you also don't complain about it when you go and do a meet and greet with the audience afterward. If a journalist comes and says, what do you like about doing this show? You don't say, well, what I really hate is this thing from the audience. I'm sorry, that is terrible work as an entertainer. And Jerry Seinfeld was dumb to give that answer to the interviewer that asked him why he doesn't go and perform on college campuses. He could have just said, you know, it's very difficult. We have to arrange all the security and the ticket sales aren't good. So it's not a good choice for me right now. That's all he needed to say. He didn't need to complain about the audience because that is bad form as an entertainer. He just shouldn't have done it. So we've discussed the strength of Jerry Seinfeld's position, but it has a lot of weaknesses as well. And the most obvious one is that it's only a position that's viable for an established comedian. Getting laughs from a progressive audience is Olympic level comedy. And most comedians, especially the ones just starting out, are not Olympic level comedians like Jerry Seinfeld. They just aren't. You have to do a lot of grind to work yourself up to that level. An athlete that is not at the Olympic level, that attempts Olympic level work, is at real danger of injuring themselves and ending their career. Likewise, a comedian who goes and performs in the woke environment is at real danger of damaging themselves and ending their career early. It's, it's a problem because Jerry Seinfeld is not going to be around forever. There is a need for new up-and-coming comedians to take on the mantle of Jerry Seinfeld or Bill Burr or whatever other comedian you want to cite. So how are they going to get their start? Where are they going to go to find an audience that will let them grow their skills without damaging them and throwing them on the trash bin, which is what, sadly, these woke audiences do with a lot of people that run afoul of them. It's a conundrum, and it's one that the Seinfeld theory of comedy doesn't do a whole lot to solve. Anyone who heard Seinfeld's recanting and thought, well, gee, Jerry, you're really not helping the up-and-coming comedian any, are you, is not incorrect. The thing they seem to have missed is that when Jerry scolded the audiences on college campuses, he wasn't helping up-and-coming comedians either. Scolding the audience never helps an entertainer because it's bad form. It's the entertainer making the performance about themselves rather than about the performance. It was Jerry Seinfeld saying to the young comedians, the way you deal with a bad audience is by making the show about you. And that's dumb. That's stupid. That is also going to end the promising careers of young comedians. And if you're a commentator who has called out narcissistic Hollywood people for making entertainment entirely about them and not about the audience, you should have recognized that. So, where are we at? Well, ultimately, Seinfeld has not changed anything one way or another. Not with his previous comments, not with his most recent comments. What would make an impact is something like what Joe Rogan has done. Opening a comedy club, looking for good, promising comedians, giving them a venue where they can ply their trade, giving them opportunities based on how good of a comedian they are, how funny they are, how much audiences like them, rather than based on their political philosophy or whether they are saying things that you think are good for comedy as a whole. Because if there is a dearth of good comedy, we will not fix it by talking about comedy. We will fix it by making good comedy, just as we would in any other venue. And if people come after you to try and stop you from doing that, you're just going to have to make a place where they can't. So rather than whining because Jerry Seinfeld said some words and then said some other words that contradicted them, how about asking him to do something that will help make those Olympic level comedians. Just a few thoughts. Let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. There's a like button and a subscribe button down there. You can use those as you see fit, and I'll talk to you later.